average temperatures are rising and biodiversity is diminishing. And here in Sub-Saharan Africa, farmers are the biggest culprits, but also the biggest victims of the diminishing ecosystems and biodiversity. Here in Nairobi, I speak to several people in the world of agroecology and members of the Ecological Organic Agriculture Initiative and I need to hear their sense of optimism, their point of optimism, and how they think that actually agroecology and organic farming practices can actually save the world. I'm looking at ecological organic agriculture having three major outputs. One of them is healthy foods, healthy people. It's looking at the people, how healthy are they going to be? Then it's also looking at the beauty of the landscape. Because we are looking at the beauty, ecology, diversity. Diversity becomes a central point. Then another one comes as sustainability. Ecological organic agriculture is good for building resilience to the current and the future climate. EOA is also very relevant to reduce emission of greenhouse gases. In Africa, since the, eco the economy is largely based on agriculture, Organic farming in Africa is really um, the way to go because the world is faced with so many challenges that we are even seeing on the African continent. There's this challenge of our food being laced with uh, uh, very unacceptable levels of chemical residues. Yeah, I think ecological organic agriculture is the way to go in order to adapt to climate change since it's the biggest threat that our farmers, the small scale farmers are facing currently. So uh, creating awareness on new way would be the best adaptation strategy that we can employ now. And, um, we have seen the benefits that um, uh, organic agriculture is contributing to the economy uh, because of the market and the trade um, of the products. Um, uh, the, the, the practices and the technologies that are promoted within organic agriculture are environmental friendly and um, appropriate to the farmers and they are less costly. Uh, because farmers could um, generate uh, some practices uh, from own uh, environment. 50 to 60 percent of the emission in Africa can be mitigated through ecological organic agriculture. And uh, issues of setting our own Africa standards of certification uh, are some things that we must now pursue strategically so that some of our certified organic, uh, organic foods uh, also find uh, their ways into international markets. The other option I see why we should support sustainable ecological organic agriculture is that this is a system that just doesn't care only about how the food is grown but it goes beyond and cares about the environment where the food is brought. It cares about the surrounding ecosystems and the interactions of every um, system that the whole world depends on. We are, we are promoting the use of uh, on-farm resources and uh, less chemical application uh, as inputs and also uh, things like matching, intercropping, water conservation methods. I think these are the things that uh, when they're used, they will uh, have a very significant e uh, effect into bringing down the uh, adverse effect of uh, climate change. I also want to talk about the need for our African governments to give support to ecological uh, organic agriculture. And when we talk of ecological organic agriculture, it's not just the financial support we are talking about, we are also talking about grooming upcoming 
African professionals within the agroecological sector, people who will drive this agenda to the next uh, generation. And that means our uh, world of academia need to also come in strongly. Already they are there. You know, the Mata University of Uganda, Makerere University of Uganda, Egat University in Kenya, we are all working towards that. I do think when it comes to uh, ecological organic agriculture, then the involvement of the youth uh, becomes very fundamental. And not just the youth, we're also talking of some of uh, the uh, isolated groups, groups which have been left out there, the women for example. They all need to come into this, the children for example. They all need to come into this. And um, apart from health, the preservation of, of environment is key to this. Because if we destroy our environment, then even when we talk of issues of eco ecological organic agriculture, we are ending nowhere. It's preservation of the environment also. It becomes in as a very critical component of EOA. agriculture is holistic in nature. It looks at multiple in systems interactions. It just doesn't concentrate on one idea. It looks at everybody and tries to balance the equation. So the push for the green revolution and the troubles that have come out of that and the contamination of the water, of the food we eat, of our, or the, the negative effects on our health have all been seen and scientifically proven. The technologies, for example, um, producing composite um, um, crop residues and uh, green manuring, planting leguminous, you know, all these will increase and restore the soil fertility in order to achieve um, the, um, the expected yield. But if you do that and you comply to other market requirements and standards, then you are able to, uh, to, to penetrate to a specialty market. Ethiopia has developed its own green economy and climate resilient strategy. And in this green economy climate resilient strategy, Ethiopia included ecological or organic agriculture as a means to build a green economy, at the same time building resilience to climate change. And very recently, Ethiopia has also introduced ecological organic agriculture into a document called Intended Nationally Determined Contribution under the UNFCCC. Farming cannot uh, by itself will sustain itself. Farming along conserving, maintaining natural resources is really an important and a must action. You cannot separate agriculture from maintaining the natural resources. So to make it sustainable, uh, this uh, keeping of the natural uh, ecosystem has to be incorporated. Therefore, organic agriculture has an answer for that. Uh, its concern and its action on to maintenance and the rehabilitation of the natural ecosystem, the keeping of biodiversity, and by also uh, bringing food to the family, income to the family with quality food and with a sustained growth of production for uh, the farm. Actually, for me, I want to say that we just throw away the box and start over. And starting over means research. The organic agriculture can mitigate the climate change. Therefore, if you want to live, let's go down. If you want to die, we stay in convention. So, the future of agriculture in Africa is ecological organic agriculture.